here's our predicament. Yeah. All right. Go ahead. All right. It is Friday, August the 27th. And it's the first day of the three-day Tennessee velvet hunt, and we're kind of in a predicament. We've been watching this deer for the last few weeks. There's two bucks on this farm that we will shoot. There's a big nine pointer and there's a big eight pointer. Both of them are, I believe they're five and a half this year. Maybe, maybe just four and a half, but at least four and a half. And they're both solid, really, really solid bucks. I mean, get your heart pumping when they walk out for sure. But we're just trying to decide which end of the property to hunt. So it's just gonna be a game time decision for us. But we got three days to get it We got done. three days to do it, yeah. So if we screw up day one, we hopefully just don't bump them too bad and they totally should... change their pattern. Yeah. But we'll see. It's going to be, a, like I said, a game time decision for us. I'm probably going to... Oh my gosh, look at all the turkeys. Half grown yeah. ones. That's good to see. I'm, I'm trying to push David into making a decision. <laughs> Of course, he usually says, it's your hunt. And I usually tell him the same thing if he's hunting. So. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see y'all in the woods, in the field, one or the other. Out. I think I've got a little fatter since last year. Long sleeves now or long sleeves later? I just put it on and pull my sleeves up. Things light for turkey gear during deer season. A decision was made. I'm just gonna play it safe this evening. Go to the pond and just hoping that it's hot enough that they want to drink. If we haven't killed him today or tomorrow, Sunday evening, we'll pull out all the stops and just walk around the whole place till we see. <laughs> see the sweat rolling down my face because it is hot but I'm not going to complain because everyone knows if you deer hunt in August it's going to be hot but we're back after a lot of deliberation we came back to the tree now I will go ahead and say if I don't kill this afternoon it could be a lot of it my fault because David actually saw one of the bugs that we're hunting about it's about eight, nine hundred yards from here. Yeah. About eight or nine hundred yards from here in the bottom field. We're kind of up top. He came out in the bottom field two days ago. I don't know. Just, I felt a little bit. What's the word I'm looking for here? Nervous, I guess, about going after him, I guess, in a sense. This early is when I've got three days to hunt. I just feel like if we would have if we would have piled up down there on the edge of that field and he would have got out there and eaten in the field by the time we had to leave, we would have been coming out of the woods right on top of him and it might have been enough just to booger him and uh, you know, change his pattern up to go and fully nocturnal or maybe going over to the neighbor's farm. So we're kinda of playing it safe. we we do have more pictures of a bigger nine pointer up here in this part of the farm. We've got a pond right here behind us. David will show you later. And um, also got, you guys see there's a big old hole right there where we, we put trophy rock at every year for them in the springtime. And they usually hit it pretty good before moving out into these fields. It's also the same place that last year I killed one opening, or no, it was middle of October, I guess, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, we had that on velvet come like. Yeah, during velvet, he come out right here and busted us. And then, um, I killed him later on in the season, right here. They, a lot of times they'll come down off this hill and come out right here under us. There's a gap in a fence right here under us. And they'll all funnel down and hit this fence row going down to these bottom fields where that other buck came out at the other evening. So it's just a perfect little pinch point. Just narrows them down right here. You can't see it from the road. So they really feel comfortable coming out right here. 
Just really hoping that they uh, they do this afternoon. We'll see. Say it. Nope. You always say it. You gotta say it. I ain't gonna say it because you just told me. Oh. Okay. There's twice. I've gotta say it. When the owls start hooting, bugs start moving. David hates it when I say that, but it's the truth. Trust me. I speak hoot owl. I know what he's saying. I don't 
think you went 30 yards. I think you went down, don't you? Yeah, that sounds like that. It was 625 or 624. I would say it's staying hot, but it's so hot we need to get that meat out. Yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll get down. We'll give him about 10 minutes just to, I mean, just to make sure. I'll let the footage back here. Oh, I cannot believe that happened. Hey, and I was afraid he was gonna, cause this, you know, this gap's right under us. I, I thought he was gonna walk and come through the gap, and he turned right there, just that was perfect. You know, and he, man, he, what the crap was that? And it was too late. It was too late. <laughs> I can't believe that happened that quick. I can't even. The first deer we seen. And he's by himself. I, yeah, I know. That's he usually has another. He usually got a, point. yeah, another eight point. Oh, I can't believe that. We watched the footage back. Yeah, we did. We watched the footage back, and he's done. I mean, he didn't go 25 yards right there. Just drilled him. But I was telling David a couple years ago, I self-filmed a hunt here, and uh, the bucks came right down that same exact trail right behind the pond. It's, it's perfect early season when it's hot like this. I'm surprised. We both thought he was going to turn and get a drink there for a second, but he didn't. But uh, this awesome little spot right here, just, oh, I'm excited. You ready to get down the scene? We know he's dead. We might as well get down the scene. I mean, I thought I saw him crash right there. I saw bushes move you know, the, when that last little, like. The worst part about it, a lot of briars right there. Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe that just happened. I can't even. First deer we've seen. Mm -hmm. I mean, you never see the big bucks first. No, never. I mean. Not this early. Let's go see. I'm ready. No, we're done. <laughs> Yeah, he didn't turn, he didn't go. He didn't go 30 yards. Oh, oh yeah, look at that. Oh my gosh. He's bigger than I thought, Davo. Oh yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, you destroyed. You destroyed. Look at that nice buck. We knew he was a good one when we got him on camera. <laughs> Beautiful early season Tennessee buck right there, man. Briar's poked his velvet back here, he's bleeding a little bit. Boy, I'm telling you, that's awesome. That's a gorgeous deer, boys. Tennessee early season. Yes, sir. <sighs> Dandy buck right there. Thank you, man. Me. Are you tagged along with me? There, he's starting to he's starting to bust out right there. Is he? Yeah, a little bit of hard horn right there on the tip. That's a gorgeous deer. Unbelievable. Heck of a way to start our season. Oh, heck. Long, they sweep, they sweep. They're pretty. Curves all the way in, almost touching. Well, I say almost touching, about four inches there. But gorgeous, but let's get him out of this thicket. We'll get him out there in that field and look at him better. Oh. To say it's been an awesome evening would be an understatement. Beautiful Tennessee buck right here, velvet season. <sighs> Dude, it worked out. I mean, we couldn't have planned it no better. No, you called it. You said he's been coming down this trail right here because every time he comes out of the camera, well, that, like that, that fence you know comes all the way through here, and that one gap is what they use all the time right there by the pond. It's just it's just the perfect funnel. We talked about it a little bit when we first got up in the tree. They, they come down, they always come down to this corner of the field, go right down this fence line, go into those bottom fields. And uh, we're gonna kinda do this 
decently quick and try to get out of here because that other big eight point that we've been seeing here on the farm David is going to get on him either tomorrow or Sunday he's going to get him one of those two days hopefully but we got this big boy out of here beautiful buck very excited to start my season off like this it's picking up right where our season left off last year we had just an unbelievable season last year killed some giant bucks had a lot of fun and uh the rest of the season goes like this right here it's, it's gonna be another great one so anytime you're in the tree hunting is great though ain't it bud that's right all right well hey we're gonna go ahead and get him gutted get him cleaned up out of here get some ice stuffed up in him and uh, go check on blake see how he did and then we'll uh, be able to hear from lynn also and uh see if his evening went as good as ours did just awesome